Can't get enough BYU football? Listen to Cougar Nation. Mitch Harper takes your calls Monday nights from 6 to 7 on KSL News Radio. Podcast at KSLNewsRadio.com. All right, welcome back. It is first and 12. Alex Keery here. You can hear me every day on Unrivaled, 3 to 6 on the KSL Sports Zone. And then, of course, Mitch Harper. As you just heard the voice say, uh, uh, Cougar Nation is going to be an interesting one tomorrow for you guys. Which look, don't don't shy away from it. You you got to be the guy who hosts the uh, you know the hurt feelings of some of those fans, for man. Sure. It, this has got to be this has got to be one of those talk therapy sessions. All right, get that cognitive therapy it going. Is. Be like, yeah, hey, get- who hurt you? Which offensive coordinator hurt you in your past to where you feel like this? I'll go full on. You got to be you got to be Doctor Ruth on this thing, minus all the uh, innuendo. Uh, I right. agree. <laughs> all those people that had the hot takes on X, they got to bring it on the phone line. I'm I know. here for you. We're Let's, here for you. <laughs> See, but you know what's funny is when they actually get in person, when they actually even get in the voice or get, get their voice over the phone, then they go, no, I, and look, I like the guy, you know, but on, on X, <laughs> they're going, I, get me Jake Rett's laugh. Get me <laughs> – the head of Aaron Roderick on a platter, like that. You start to get that that kind of stuff on Twitter, and then when you ask them about, it, they go, "I should like him a lot." And you're like, "Okay, <laughs> which one is it?" Uh, all right. So our Big Twelve featured game of the week. It's all brought to you by Macy's Grocery Store. By the way, every time that Mitch and I get together for first and twelve on a Sunday, uh, Macy's Grocery Store, freshest fruits and vegetables, local farms, and your favorite local brands. Macy's Happy Shopping. Uh, this game was picked because. I mean, I, there's a couple of reasons. Like, you might say, well, that's a dog. Houston and West Virginia, going into the season, Mitch, we would have looked at that one and said, that will never be featured on first and 12 for our featured game of the week. And it wasn't just the Hail Mary either that ended that thing that gave Houston its first conference win, I, I, I would like to say. I think that it's also the fact that it's a little bit of what – it's a little bit of a microcosm of what the Big 12 is right now. You got people coming in. You got You have unexpected heroes in these games. You have crazy outcomes that we have never planned for. I don't know what to think about that that game in particular. Houston and West Virginia was supposed to be, and I know they were playing it in Houston, and I know, I know Houston's looking for that first conference win. But And I know whatever you want to say about Dana Holgerson and whether or not, oh, no, he's trying to get that win because, he, you know, he's, he's over here trying to, uh, you know, reestablish himself. This is old. That's the old team he used to play for. Let's get it going. And that's not the case. This is not something – that you want to actually see somebody, uh, you know, go in and have a, a, a night like this and, and you go, look, Dana Holgerson, great. That's a great storyline. Neil Brown, awesome storyline uh, that you've seen out of him all year. But I, I just really like that West Virginia has been doing so well and that Houston goes, not nah, coming at you. It was a great win for Houston, and I think you're right about the how this represents the Big 12, the new Big 12, because – it was noteworthy to me, Alex, when you know we had West Virginia at number four in our power rankings last week, and we had Houston dead last, 14th. And the the prognosticators had West Virginia as only a two-point favorite. And you're thinking, I was like, oh, that seems a little bit tight. I know Houston's at home, but I just think that's what this league is going to be about. And it did represent these wild, wacky, made-for-TV, college football junkie sort of game that has this crazy finish and gets, you know, X and Twitter and social media buzzing a little bit. It's just kind of what it's going to be, I think, in the future. And, yeah, no one was watching, you know, New Year's Six teams or or playoff teams, but it was just a fun football game. And I think that's what this league is going to be built on. And i got to say, too, the quarterback battle in this one was pretty good. Garrett Green, he is small for West Virginia but that dude is tough, and I, I love watching him play. He had 47 yards rushing, 391 through the air. But the guy that won the night, Donovan Smith, he completed his yeah. last 16 attempts. Of course, that last one being the <laughs> Hail Mary, which was tip drill. So much fun. And, and I think, too, Alex, this win was critical for Houston because had Houston lost, I think the you know the hot seat always feels like it's kind of there for Holgerson. But, man, that would have been tough to escape had he – lost this one and because they had a lead and then West Virginia stormed back and it just this epic swing of emotions and so that was a much much needed win for Houston. So then you think, okay, what happens next week with these two teams, right? Because the pattern has been so far, you think you know something about a team. Houston's <laughs> starting to figure it out, right? 
uh, West Virginia is back to being garbage. And maybe that does happen next week. That's what's crazy about this is I don't know. They might actually – it might actually turn into that. Like, I don't know why – that somebody thinks that this would be like, – this doesn't really indicate anything in this Big 12 because West Virginia has been playing actually really good football, and then Houston has not been playing very well. But guess what they did? They game plan and they got ready for that game. I just I, – I look at this, and, and, and you should probably, if you're a BYU fan, go, look, if Houston can beat West Virginia on any given night, uh, I mean, because what you don't want is, for, is to look at the Cincinnati win and then see their four losses in a row and go – well, that's the only reason you won that game is because Cincinnati's garbage, you know, and there's a little bit of that. And then I know that there are BYU fans who watched Arkansas go uh, to 2-5 and five on the season now or whatever it is or, or get their fourth or fifth lo- loss in a row. And they played Alabama a little bit tight, and there was this, there was a friend of mine who reached out and goes, hey, we beat uh, Arkansas more than, the, by, more than what uh, Alabama did. I think that's probably a good sign for us. I go, settle your horses. It's 44-11 to 11, uh, currently in this BYU game. So it's just funny how fans work. But I couldn't tell you how this league is going to shake out, Mitch. I mean, I, I look across college football and I go, you know what? Those freaking SEC guys, they have something when it comes to going, look, Give us some bad teams at the bottom that we know we can get, you know, certain games out of. Give us just a, a very regular run-of-the-mill middle middle course and then give us the very, very top-heavy teams. And we like that economy because otherwise you get stuff like the Big 12 right now, which is just an insane mess, and I kind of love it. I, I do too, but I will say this. I, I'm buying in on West Virginia. I look at the rest of their schedule, Alex. The next six games, they're at the midway point. They're 4-2. and two. I think they get to eight wins because they've got two of the newcomers still remaining in BYU, or actually three of the newcomers, excuse me, UCF, BYU, and Cincinnati. Their toughest games at Oklahoma. They go at Baylor. They got at UCF, Oklahoma State next week. I think they get to eight. They'll probably be favored in five of their next six games. I like what West Virginia is. And to lose on a fluke play, not fluke, but the Hal Mary last second play, that's not going to happen very often. I'm buying in. I think they're going to get to a bowl game and, Neil Brown's going to cool off the hot seat, and he's going to probably keep his job for at least another year. Uh, so here's what we got. This was your game of the week. And, again, like I said, I almost, when you put it up there earlier, and I go, hey, look, we're going to have better games uh, <laughs> coming in here uh, with these other ones. We know we're going to be able to put a better game up there, but I think that this was this was one of those games this week that you look at and you go, this is a little something different that the Big 12 gave you this week. There were a lot of pretty good games uh, across the board in the conference. There were upsets or teams who, you know, beat the spread, teams who were the underdogs, all that stuff. Uh, but I think that you can look at this game and you can say, look, that's a, that's a great win for Houston. And it was a moment where, you know, crazily enough, uh, West Virginia was a, it was a massive favorite in that game. And then here we are. And, of course, we saw something very different. All right, we'll take, uh, we'll take another break here. When we come back, Oh, it's the second hour of first and 12, Mitch. You know what that means? We've got our power rankings. We have all sorts of – so we have our, our, uh, our, our, our whip around across the, the, uh, the entire Western Conference of, or the Western part of the United States, our, our full-on look at the, uh, at the teams that are coming back into the conference as well as all the teams, of course, and how they performed uh, across this thing, plus our power rankings you don't want to miss. Stay right here. It's first and 12 right here, KSL News Radio and 97.5 The KSL Sports Zone.